back and we are going to be talking with Patrick today and Patrick has built this lovely tiny home that we're sitting in so we're just going to chat a little bit about it and um, I'm going to start and ask Patrick tell us a little bit about yourself your company and then we'll kind of talk about the, the home okay, a little bit. Great. Well thanks for being here. Come on. So I built my first tiny home in 1972 after I came to the northwest from Hay Ashbury. It was on the back of a 49 Dodge flatbed truck and headed up the river, thinking we're on our way to Mexico for the winter, and the truck broke down and I got shanghaied and had to pick pairs until I made enough money to get it fixed. Okay. And I lived in several other small homes along the way. So when the opportunity to start building tiny houses on wheels came along, I was very excited. Uh, right up my alley. Yeah, kind of a little background, it sounds like. <laughs> So we do everything we design and build and have been for 20 years is done with structural insulated panels. The okay. product has been around for 40 years. It's real simple. It's a block of styrofoam with oriented strand board bonded to each side. Okay. Comes in panels that are as large as 8 feet wide and up to 24 feet long. Hmm. So it makes it real easy to build a tiny house. Like in this one we have three panels for the floor, three on each side wall, one in the end and a couple for the top. Cool. Excellent. So I'm going to pull this up. I'm not sure if you can see it on the thing there, but this was, it, it was kind of interesting because I was, it was sitting in the corner earlier and I thought it actually was, it was like asphalt. And mm -hmm. so I was expecting, or cinder block. Mm -hmm. And so I was expecting this to be heavy and Patrick asked me to hand it to him and I picked it up and did that, you know, like we expect something to be heavy that's actually really light. So this is actually super light. Right. And this is a new, new style of expanded polystyrene. You right. normally see it in white. Uh, the manufacturer of the beads that it begins with has added graphite to the polymer chain. And graphite increased the R value by almost one per inch. Okay. It also acts as the fiber return. Okay. And R is insulation? That's the resistance to heat movement through a material. Okay. The inverse is U value, which is the movement of heat through it, not the resistance to it. Okay. So this is very well. Super insulated. That's yeah. I, okay. I, when I talk to my clients, we often talk about drivers, and by that I mean what what are the design drivers for you? For me, it's energy efficient, simple design, simple to build. Mm -hmm. Because I know a lot of my clients aren't um, builders by trade; right. they are not framers and electricians and those sorts of things. So, right. and then other people I you know, have one client we just finished with, and his driver was complexity. Hmm. I don't get it, but we don't do it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> to each his own, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that brings me to another point. So I was going to ask you, so this is pretty bare, actually. And I will, I'll take some video later and add it in. Um, and we'll probably be showing it now in the video. So there's this beautiful loft. Um, the ceiling is a made, the roof. No, excuse me, I said it right that time. <laughs> the ceiling is just gorgeous. So I'll make sure I get some good shots of that for you guys. Um, so you sell them like this, I and not. finished? I do not. Okay. So I'm, I've always been uh, hard to put in a box. Um, I'm a do-it-yourselfer, what we call today a maker. And I, my use of my, my glasses, my lenses, and my car, that everybody's a maker, right? No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the market I've chosen to serve. So mm -hmm. what we provide is the design. We work with a product called Chief Architect, which is a 3D modeling program, mm -hmm. so that people can actually see their their tiny home or their cabin or cottage, whatever building they're doing, and almost, you know, how it's actually going to look. Okay. So we can move, uh, what we do is we open our templates, we call them, we have three different widths of these tiny houses on wheels, five lengths, half a dozen roof styles. Mm -hmm. So we can open the template on our computer, invite them to our screen, and usually within an hour we can move the windows and doors around and, and create their own custom model. That model is then sent to our manufacturers who make the panels. And then we provide the trailer and a flat pack kit, much like an IKEA kit. Okay. Much bigger. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but the nice thing is, you can close in a building in a weekend. Wow. Put the windows and doors in another day, and put the roofing on in a day or two. And I so within, within seven days, you can have a dry shell. And that's what this is: is a shell. Mm -hmm. And we we don't. I'm kind of darned if I do and darned if I don't, um, because I don't build them. I don't really have a model to show. So we built this one as a model, and now we're ready to move it on to a new home. Cool. This is so beautiful. I just love. I'm gonna get some good photos too. And the the loft is just gorgeous. And actually, this this one 
seems much roomier. Now, mind you, of course, there's not right. cabinets. And, <laughs> right. But I mean, it does, it, it still feels like it has a roomier interior than some of the mm -hmm. tiny homes I've so seen out there. With the, with the arched or curved roof, that makes the largest loft available because right. it doesn't have any angles and you're right. competing in it. Yeah. Uh, the nice thing, too, with it empty like this, this could be a backyard office. Right. This could be a sewing room. This could be a place to tie flies or just about anything you want to do. A sales right. office on a lot someplace. Right. Very Some yeah. kind of outbuilding. Yep. Yeah. Very attractive. That's awesome. This is so cool. So what have I forgotten to ask you? What do you, what do you get asked all the time that I forgot to ask? Well, I think, I think we pretty much covered it. Trying to get people to understand our particular model of helping owner builders go from snap, crackle, pop, get it on paper, get it into materials, mm -hmm. and then we love to go out and spend a couple days with people showing them how to put the shell together. And we're gonna do that with a project up in BZ Corner over at Mount Adams this weekend. They're having a bunch of their friends coming together and we'll take the panel package up there and help them assemble it. Excellent, cool. And uh, we have your name here, which I know is in the shot, but um, do you wanna tell us how to how people can learn more sure. about you? You betcha. It's at artisantinyhouse.com. Artisan Tiny House. Right, and I'm surprised how many people want to say artesian. Right. I'll put it a different, <laughs> but I, I get it. Fair enough. Yeah, artisantinyhouse.com. And there is a pop up that gives all the features of this particular home right on the home page. And there will be a link shortly to a slideshow and to Jeff's work also. Perfect. All right. Well, cool. Thanks for coming along with us. And I hope you enjoy this tour of a tiny home. And if you have any more questions, Patrick is an amazing guy, so I would highly recommend contacting him. All right, thanks everybody.